Hello, this is my BioCube 29 um, filter. Um, I kind of did a DIY project where I kind of wanted to stop paying for those cartridges that can just add up towards the end of the year to a ridiculous amount of money. So, what I did was purchase a few plastic um, type boxes at a local 99 cent store and created my own flow. As you can see, Chamber 1 has the Airstone. Chamber two, I have actually two sets of filters. The first one is gonna catch the detritus, all the gunk, all the poop, all the food, that stuff's over. The second one has a second layer of protection, make sure nothing doesn't get by, and there's like a layer of carbon. As you can see, as I, it fits perfectly into the slot. Now the second half part of that is actually uh, just about a third of the cartridge, so, I, so there was no gap, so it catches any additional um, waste and as you can see the flow is fairly light as it goes towards the back but if you can see here I have maneuvered or actually I'm sorry um, created ni about 95% flow into this into the box into the aquarium floss so it catches everything that I need such as the gunk um, keeps my aquarium nice and clean my goldfish are happy um, again aquarium floss at the end of the day, you can buy a big bag for seven, eight bucks. It can last you probably the whole year, depending how you use it. And you can see here, I have more filtration than I need. It's gonna clean up everything that I need. The setup, the, those little plastic um, catchers that I have right there, cost a buck fifty. Filter floss, a big bag was seven bucks, and I spent about nine fifty, which should last me six seven months it's pretty amazing when you're only going to pay less than a dollar per month to keep your aquarium clean opposed to the buyer cube cartridges i believe um, a two pack runs for like between eight and ten bucks depending where you look but yeah this is it and uh so far so good it's been about two days everything's running clean we'll see what um see how it looks in at the end of the week bye